All right, hello everybody, it's Right Bird, and today we are going back into the past, into the 70s, to the Atari, the Atari games. The Atari came out September 11th, 1977, and that's a long time ago. <laughs> my my first game I have is 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, and the name explains it, it's Tic-Tac-Toe game, uh, 1 to 8, 1 player. And nine two player. So there's eight one player games and nine two player games, I guess. This came out in 1980. Alright, next game we have came out in 1981. It's called 2600 Venture. I guess you fight a snake. <laughs> or you're Hercules. It looks like maybe Hercules. I don't know what this game, this game is. I didn't play this. Uh, this Atari actually... And all these games were thrown out to the trash by my uncle. He threw them out and my mom found them and gave them all to me. And he thought the Atari didn't work, but it does. The cords were just a little messed up and I had to re, like, slice them and rewire it and put it together. So it's got electrical tape on the cords, but it still works really good. Alright, next game we have is Armor Ambush. It doesn't have a sticker on it or nothing. It's it's a weird type of thing. And I guess it's from the picture, it's like a tank game. This came out in 1982. Holy smokes. Okay, next game we have Asteroids. Came out in 1981. Wow. And I think you're a, a fighter and you shoot asteroids. I think I played this. A lot of these don't remember... Um, but I did grow up playing Atari, like, later on in life, because I wasn't born in the 70s, I was born in the 90s. Oh, next game is basketball. I actually have two copies of it. Basketball. I used to play this one. I played this with one of my cousins when I was really young, and it was fun from what I remember. I bet you if I played it today, <laughs> it wouldn't be that fun, because the graphics would be like, what is this? I can't see. My eyes have gone bad. All right, next game is Chuck Norris Super Kicks. Uh, I used to watch Chuck Norris, the the TV show. I forgot what it was called. Unless it was just Chuck Norris. But I grew up watching it with my mom. I think this is just like a, a fighting game. Or like you learn martial arts and stuff. Man. When did this come out? Where's the thing? 1983. This came out in 1983. Wow. Next game is Commando Raid. This doesn't say when it was made. It, it says it's made in Taiwan, but it doesn't say the year. Man, I need to know when this came out. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, so this game came out in 1982. I had to look it up because it didn't have the year on it. But Commando Raid. All right, next next game is called Concentration. This game looks fun. I want to try it. Came out in 1986, and it looks like a memory match game, but that looks like a scary clown. Like, that looks like it in form, like clown form hiding behind a globe. Concentration. I want to try this game. This looks fun. All right, next game we have is called Dragon Fire. Came out in 1982. And this is like the only game I have that's shiny and pretty with the foil looking silver and colors on it, not just flat black and or gray. I think I don't know what this is about, but it's got dragons in it, so it must be pretty badass. Okay, next game we have is Flash Gordon Games of the Century, and this came out 1983. I only know who Flash Gordon is because of Ted, the movie. <laughs> if you haven't seen Ted and you're you're old enough to watch it, watch it. And he he's in it, Flash Gordon, and that's so funny. That's the only thing I know about Flash Gordon. I didn't watch the TV show because I know it's a TV show, but I don't even know when it came out because I probably wasn't born yet. Okay, next game we have is called Football. And at first, I thought it was like American football, but as I was more more looking at the cover, that's a soccer ball. So, 
it says real sports soccer, but it says football. So it's a soccer. It's soccer. Uh, came out in 1987. Well, for Americans, it's soccer. For other countries, it's football. But I was really confused. I was like, huh? Football? Wait a minute. That ain't a football. That's a soccer ball. <laughs> so I haven't played this, but it looks fun. A sports game. I wonder what it looks like. The like graphics and stuff. What are you like a little stick just kicking a ball? Okay, next game is called Game Program Combat. It's tank, tank pong, invisible tank, biplane, and jet fighter. And this was also made in Taiwan, and I'm just gonna guess it was made in 1982. Because <laughs> it doesn't have the date on it. Okay, so I looked it up, and it's saying 1977 that this came out with the Atari. So, I don't know. That's just what the internet said, because I don't... Oh no, I wasn't born then, so I have no knowledge of it. Alright, next game is called Gorf. <laughs> Sounds like golf, but it's not. Gorf. Came out in 1981 and 1982. Missions. Astro Battles, Laser Attack, Space Warp, and Flagship. Hmm. Well, that, that sounds kind of fun. I guess you're a little astro person. You battle. In mainly space and lasers. Haven't played it. Why would they name it Gorf? What is, what is the meaning behind that? Does anybody know? <laughs> anybody played these? I want to know. And my old school peeps out there. Who's, who's played these? Who's had an Atari? Who still has an Atari? Let me know. Okay, next game we have is called Home Run. Came out in 1978. Holy smokies. Look at, like, it's, this came out in the 70s, 78, and, like, the sticker's still on there perfect. Like, there's no rips or anything. It looks great. Okay, next game, it's Human Cannonball. 1978, it came out in. Again, the sticker's good. Everything is in good condition. I guess you shoot your ass out of a cannon. Hmm. Would you do that in real life? Shoot out of a cannon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. I don't break nothing. Alright, next game we have is called Ice Hockey. This came out in 1981. And I haven't played it, but I watched uh, Bush Beer play it on his stream because he has an Atari like emulator thing. I don't, I don't know what he has. It's like hooked up to his PlayStation or something when he streams. And he played it. So, <laughs> shout out to him. I watched him play, and it was pretty funny. Ice hockey. I told him I, I told him I had a copy of it. I do. I told you. I haven't played it, though. All right, next game we have is called Kaboom. This came out in 1981. It's a one game, two game, two players. Mad Bomber, Mad Bomber. Hmm. I don't know. The picture kind of says it all. <laughs> it looks like one of those little handheld games you had when you were small. Oh, I forgot what those were called. I guess you just blow your friends up when you play. You send a bomb their way or something. Alright, the next game is Mega Mania Space Nightmare. This came out in 1982. Um, those look like little ducks falling from the sky. I don't know, they're like duckies. And I guess you just shoot them or something. I haven't played this one either. Alright, next game I have, I have two copies of Missile Command. Came out in 1981. There's one copy, there's two copies. Uh, I think you just shoot missiles at people. I don't think I've played this one. I gotta check these out, most of these. Alright, next game is called Outlaw. This came out in 1978. And it looks good like Wild West or something from the way I look at the picture. This looks really good. I want to try this out. I want to look at it and see what it is. All right, next game we have is the classic favorite Pac-Man. Everybody loves Pac-Man. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I really do. Uh, came out in 1981 and I have missed Pac-Man as well, but I don't know where. I know I, know I had it. When my uncle threw these out, I think some of them, some of the games got damaged because they weren't protected and this one, you can tell like it got rained on or something and the sticker is just a little messed up. 
But I think that's what happened in most of the games. I did have to throw them away because they were just so gross. Like, all right, next game we have is pole position. I love this game. I love pole position. This was a lot of fun. Uh, it came out in 1982, but they have a remake for it for PS2. You can play it on the PlayStation 2, and I really got into it on the on the PS2. And I want to play this, the original, and dip into it. Okay, next game we have is called Race. It came out in 1978. And it's pretty much, it's a racing game, so I'll have to try this one out too. Check it out. I know that most of these work too, if not all of them, because when I did get the Atari and it was broken at first, I did test everything out and it did work. So I think the games that absolutely were just crap, I threw away. They couldn't fit into the thing, they were so nasty, and they were all destroyed and damaged, and I threw them away. So all of these I salvaged. All right, next game we have is called Shark Attack. I didn't know that they made a shark game for Atari. It came out in 1982. And I guess you, like, look for treasure, and then a shark comes at you. I don't know. I want to try this one to play it a little bit. All right, next game we have is called Space Invaders. And it came out in 1980. And I guess it, for two players, it has 112 games. I don't know what that means, the 1 to 16, 17... 112 I'm just guessing one player you get 16 levels if you play with two player you get 112 so that's a lot 112 levels if that's true holy smokes all right next game we have is called space jockey came out in 1982 most of these came out in 1982 the ones that I have some of them are from the 70s but I mean, this looks fun it's like a shooting game like you're shooting at people or something all right, next game we have is called Star Raiders. Again, came out in 1982. And I guess you just raid the stars and shoot things. So pretty much all the Atari is like shooting and stuff. Not really much else. All right, so the next game we have is called Surround. And I didn't really know it was a game because like it just has that n no um, art on it or anything. Uh, but this came out in 1977 from what I what I looked up. So, and I guess you're just like a little snake thing going around. And man, the sound of the Atari, I remember his his awful sound, his little little program sounds. Pong. I used to have Pong. I used to play that. Anybody remember Pong? All right, next game we have is called Telly Games Three, and it's football. And I can't find when it came out. I looked. But my phone's like, what's this? And it's probably in the 80s, 70s, around there. But it's actual football, like American football, not soccer. So I know that much. All right, next game we have is Telly Games 8. This came out in 1980. When I say Telly Games, kind of reminds me of Telly Tubbies. <laughs> Telly Games, Telly Tubbies. So 1980 has four timed games and five to eight untimed games, whatever the hell that means. All right, next game is called Telly Games Still. It's number 16. Uh, Gunslinger and Target Shoot. So, for one to two players. And from that picture, it looks fun. I wonder how many of these they made. Because this is number 16. How far up does it go? Okay, next game we have is called Towering Inferno. And by the looks of it, you put out fires, maybe? I don't know. Or you burn the buildings. You either burn... Or you put out the fires. And this came out in 1982. Towering Inferno. Wow. Alright, last but not least, we have Warlord. 1981, this game came out. And I think it's like Medieval Battles or something. Because I haven't played. <laughs> not played it at all. And I actually have another copy of the Game Combat. I, I have two copies of Game Combat. Two copies of... The missile command, I think. Alright, well, this is my Atari. In the original case thing. Looks pretty neat. The cords are all fixed up and stuff, and it works. Smile. Alright, well, this, this wraps up the Atari games. And actually, yesterday when I did my Nintendo 64 game collection, I forgot I had Resident Evil 2. So, here's Resident Evil 2 for the N64. It was not listed yesterday.
because I found it in my Vita case. It was inside my PlayStation Vita cover case. So I found that. And I will be moving on to PS3 games next. That's going to take me a while. So if I don't upload tomorrow, that's why. Because I have a lot of games to go through. It's probably my biggest gaming collection is probably PS3. Even like over PS4 games. So well, anyway, I will be back. And let me know in the comments if you owned any of these Atari games. Had any of them? Remember any of them? Any memories? fond fond memories or not <laughs> oh i want to hear it so let me know in the comments right youtube don't turn off my comment section they keep turning off my comment section not me it's not me i'm not doing it they are i find out and then i turn them right back on so but i will catch you in the next one all right i don't bye, -bye.